Yo, what's up everybody? This is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again. And today's the day. Today's the long-awaited video of the white folks and Layla pups at nine weeks old. For anyone that's interested in picking up one of our American Bully puppies, make sure you guys watch this video all the way through. We're gonna start off by showing you a little clip of the puppies here. Then we're gonna move on and show you the parents. And then we got tons of footage of these guys running around, playing and stuff. All the footage you guys came here to see. This right here is gonna be the father of the puppies that are gonna be available in this video. This is our boy, Killinois Kennel's white folks, one of our main studs on the yard, and another dog from our kennel that just throws it down every time we breed him. This boy white folks here has produced a lot of your guys' favorite dogs from our kennel. He's produced dogs like Napoleon, Vanilla Gorilla, Thug Rose, Precious, Nina, Benny Blanco, and many, many more. Just wait till you guys see some of the stuff that we haven't busted out off of white folks. We got a lot of real nice up and comers coming off of this boy. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But that's it for the footage of white folks. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the mother of the puppies that you guys are gonna see in this video. This right here is our girl, Killinois Kennels, Layla Ali, another one of the many amazing females that we got on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. She's a young up and coming female. She's the litter mate sister to our boy Premier and our boy Frisco. And I'll tell you what, this girl threw it down on her first litter. Just wait till you guys see these pups. For anyone that's interested in checking out the pedigree on the mother and the father of this litter, make sure you guys go check out the previous video of the white folks and Layla pups. We, you know, we put up a video of the breeding, broke down the pedigrees really nice, showed you guys some of white folks' offspring, showed you guys Layla's litter mates. And in that video, you guys are going to see that these puppies come from a long line of badass American bullies. So make sure you guys go check that out. Normally, we would just put that in this video, but we got quite a bit of footage of these puppies for you guys, for the people that are actually interested in purchasing one. And we just didn't want to make this video too long for you guys. So again, if you guys want to see the peds and all that stuff, make sure you guys go back and check out that previous video. But that's it for the footage of our girl Layla. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button and let's shoot for 1500 likes off of this video. If we can get 1500 likes off of this video, I'll post up the footage of our girl here, Killinois Kennels Thug Rose, a never seen before female on our channel. You guys think you tripped out off of Ace of Spades? Just wait till you guys see this girl. I can't wait to show you this video. But that's it for the small talk, man. We showed you some footage of the parents. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the footage you guys all came here to see. Allow me to introduce you guys to the white folks and Layla pups at nine weeks old. We ended up with seven pups total off of this litter. We had four females and three boys. And this breeding turned out exactly the way we thought it would. We ended up with some real nice, extreme show quality American bullies. And we got plenty of footage of them for you guys to look at. This is going to be the video of the puppies that are going to be for sale. They're ready to go today. All these puppies in this video are available. For anyone that's interested, make sure you get with me. You can give me a call at 217-280-0151 and we'll give you all the information you need to reserve the puppy of your choice. All pups come ABKC registered, up to date on shots and wormed, ears clipped, the whole nine yards. For anyone that actually ends up purchasing one of these pups, you can come get the puppy in person. We'd actually prefer that, but if not, we can set up some shipping for you. Shipping prices are somewhere between 350 to 600, depending on where you're at. We can ship these dogs anywhere in the world. So for anyone that's interested, no matter where you're at, we can get this dog to you. So again, if you wanna reserve one of these puppies, make sure you guys give us a call. Stella had to make her little cameo in the video right here. We was using her as bait. 
we got plenty of different looks in this video of these puppies this is going to be a little bit different video than most we got plenty of footage of them running around playing and then towards the end we separate them with the males and the females in two different parts so make sure you guys stay tuned watch this video all the way through and for anyone that's interested in picking up one give us a call and we'll take care of you while we were doing this video, it was super hot outside. You know, the puppies were running around crazy. That's why we got this big gate going all the way across the yard to kind of block them off a little bit. That way we could get some really good footage for you guys. I want to say I'm sorry for the hold up on this video, man. It's been really, really crazy around here. We got litters dropping, breeding's getting done. We got a really big breeding that we just did last week. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This past weekend, I judged a dog show out in Iowa. Big shout out to the whole Killinois family, everybody that came out from the channel. We had a family drive all the way out from Houston, Texas to Iowa to come out to the dog show to holler at us at the Killinois camp. Unfortunately, I was already in the show ring judging and stuff. I wasn't able to talk to those guys too long. I wish they would have been able to stay a little bit longer till after the show. That way we could have had a nice little time to chop it up and stuff. But again, I want to send a big shout out to them for coming out. And if you guys are watching this video, leave your name and number in the comment section and I'll give you guys a call. Again, I'm really, really sorry that we wasn't able to talk, but while I'm judging, you know, I kind of got to deal with that. Then once the show's over, then I can go and talk to everybody. So again, big shout out to you for coming out and I'm sorry that we wasn't able to talk. I'm going to go ahead and use this time to break everything down for the customers, for everybody that's going to purchase a puppy. What you're going to need to do is, is you're going to need to give me a call at 217-280-0151. If you're able to get in and reserve one of these pups, we'll find out which one you're interested in. And if that pup is available, you can go ahead and reserve that puppy. What you'll have to do is, is I'm going to have my girlfriend call you from a different number. She's going to send you all the information. That way you can go ahead and get the puppy paid for and I can go ahead and move on to the other customers. In that time, I'm going to be answering tons of other customers calls, going back and forth with people. Once we sell all the puppies, I'll give everybody a call back that actually reserved one of the pups. We'll start working on shipping for the dogs that need to be shipped out and for the people that want to be picking up the pups in person, you know, we'll give you all the information you need to do that as well. For anybody that's interested in getting one of these puppies shipped, you have to realize that this does take some time. For anyone that's super impatient, I highly recommend you just come pick this dog up in person. Like I said, it does take some time. Sometimes we get lucky and the ground shipper will pull up here the next day and you might get the puppy a couple days later, but sometimes the ground shipper might be a week out before he even gets here. And when I say before he even gets here, that means before he even gets here to pick up your puppy then it's still going to take some time for him to make it to you. So like I said, for anyone that's really, really impatient, I highly recommend coming and getting this dog. For those that are going to get the dog shipped out, there is no worries. There's nothing that you have to worry about. Sometimes it just takes some time. These guys are driving from one coast to the other, picking up and dropping dogs off the whole way there. You know what I mean? So it takes a little bit of time. They're not Superman. They can't just fly from my house straight to your house and boom, get on with their day. They're driving a lot of miles and stuff like that. And the last thing the ground shipper needs is the customers calling them and you know whining to them about how long it's taken because i'll tell you what sitting there crying to him about it is not going to make that puppy get there no sooner if anything it's going to hold him up but that's pretty much all you got to do to pick up one of our pups you know for anybody that is calling trying to purchase one of these pups if you're not talking directly to me on the telephone then you're not buying a dog from Illinois kennels 
I want to put that out there. There's a lot of scammers out here in the comments of these videos. We do not sell dogs through text messages. We do not sell dogs through email. You actually have to call and talk to me and only me, Dayton from Illinois Kennels. If you haven't talked to me personally, then you're not getting a dog from us. And I want to make that very clear. Like I said, there's a lot of scammers out there and we're going to be doing a video on that here really soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We do have a big team and we have a lot of partners on this channel, but I am the only one that does the business and I want to make that very clear. So if you're talking to somebody else that ain't me, then you're not getting a dog from us, man. I want to put that out there because like I said, there's people in the comments of all these Bully Pages videos trying to rip people off. But that's it for the footage of the puppies running around and playing and stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and separate the pups. We're going to put the females with the females and the males with the males. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button and let's shoot for a thousand likes off of this video. We're gonna go ahead and start with the females. On the right there is the black tri female. That's our keeper. Every other female is gonna be available. On the left of her, we got the blue tri female. Behind her on the left, we got the reddish fawn female. And the one that just bullied her way up in the front, that's the light fawn female. All super nice pups. And the reason why we put the pups in this cage like that, these pups have never ever lived a day their life in that cage. We use this cage so you guys can get a real good look at them. That way where they're not running around all crazy, they can just stand there, do their thing, and you guys can get a real good look at the puppies. And like I said, we separated them. Right now, this is all the females. Here in a little bit, you guys are gonna see all the males the same exact way. For most of you guys that are watching this video, this litter is probably already sold out. But for those that are new to the channel, I wanna go ahead and use this time to kinda of break down things and tell you the way we run things around here. We do things different than a lot of kennels out here. We don't take deposits on dogs and we don't reserve puppies. What we do is, is once we do the breeding and we find out the female is pregnant, we'll post a video of the breeding showing you the parents, breaking down the pedigree and all those things like that. Then after that, We'll try to do a video right before the puppies are for sale, letting everybody have enough time to look at the pups because once we drop the puppies for sale, people don't really have a whole lot of time to study them and decide which one they want. A lot of people are calling in. As soon as we drop that video, tons of people are calling in. And that's another reason why it's very important to subscribe to our channel and make sure you guys hit that notification bell. I know you guys hear that a lot on YouTube, but with our channel, it is very important if you wanna be able to get one of these pups. I'm subscribed to a lot of YouTube channels and the only ones that I get the notifications for are the ones that I hit the bell. And like I said, once we drop this video of the puppies for sale, Tons of people are calling in, and if you're sitting there trying to study the litter and all that stuff, you're gonna be missing out. So again, we dropped a video of the parents, showing the parents, breaking down the pedigree, showing their offspring and all those things. Then we'll drop a little sneak peek of the puppies, that way you guys have enough time to study them. Then we'll drop a video of the puppies for sale, and they'll go on a first come, first serve basis. So all you gotta do is, is once we drop that video, give us a call, let us know which puppy you're interested in. We'll let you know if it's available. And if you wanna purchase the pup, I'm gonna have my girlfriend call you from a different phone. She's gonna call you and give you all the information you need to purchase the puppy. That way I can get to start answering other calls. If you call once and we don't answer, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna get a puppy. That just means that I'm on the other line with another customer. So for the people that call once and hang up and just don't ever call back, 
those are the people that are gonna miss out. So if you call and you don't get an answer, I highly recommend you give us another couple calls back because like I said, we're getting tons of calls and I'm have to have enough time to sit there and actually have a conversation with people and see if they wanna purchase the pup. It's not as hard as people think. You know, people think that we do this to make it hard for you guys to get a puppy, but if we were taking deposits and we were reserving pups and locking in pups, None of you guys would have a chance at really getting a pup off of one of our litters. We would already have a nice long list of people ready to purchase pups. We have people call us on the daily ready to send out all the money for a puppy already. But for those of you guys that are in the comment section and you guys have called and asked about a pups, we don't let nobody in. We try to make this as fair as possible. You know, we only end up with about six, seven, maybe eight puppies available off of a litter. And we got almost 40,000 people watching us. So it's not gonna, you know, it's gonna be hard. Don't get me wrong, but it's not impossible. And a lot of people are ending up with these dogs as you guys are seeing in our videos. Like I said, we're not doing this to make it hard for you guys. We're doing this to make it fair. We don't really wanna pick out people and say, hey, we're gonna give this dude a dog. We're gonna give this dude a dog. None of those things, you know? We're trying to make it fair and we want people that actually support our channel, follow us and really rock out with us to end up with these dogs. A lot of people's been hitting me up and saying, hey, I've been subscribed to you for years, you know, can I get a dog like Tyler and things like that? You know, we didn't just give Tyler the opportunity to get a real nice puppy because he was subscribed to us. Tyler has been subscribed to us for a few years and he likes and comments on every one of our videos. I actually knew Tyler by name before I actually ever had a conversation with him. We do our best to try to get back with everybody in the comments. Things have been getting a little bit crazy lately. It's kind of hard to keep up with the comments, but for anybody that's been around a long time on our channel, they know that we've always responded to everybody in the comments. You know, it's getting kind of hard nowadays, but I do my best. So what we usually do is, is once we drop the video, we stay on the comments until we go to sleep. And then after that, we you know, we kind of got to get on with our day. You know, we're trying to keep up to date with everything. We're trying to keep videos up. We're really busy with our dogs. We got a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but we're doing our best to try to stay consistent on the channel. So back into how to get one of our pups and the things you need to do, like I said earlier, very important to be subscribed and to make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos. Wait for the videos to drop. We're gonna drop a video of the parents. We're gonna drop a video of the puppies, letting you guys get a real good look at them. And then the very next video is when the puppies will be for sale. And we always give everybody a heads up in all of our videos. That's why it's very important to check out those other videos besides the puppies for sale and our customer updates and our stud videos and our show vlogs. All those videos were giving everybody every little heads up they need to know when these puppies are going to drop. So once the puppies drop, they go on a first come first serve basis. You give us a call. I'll have my girlfriend call you from a different number. She'll send you all the PayPal information, all the cash app information. And once you purchase that pup, that's when you actually get locked in and reserve your dog. But that's it for the footage of the females. We hope you guys liked them. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the males right now. Here are the boys out of White Folks and Layla at nine weeks old. Again, we have three males here. We got the black tri in the middle, and we got two blue tri males on the sides of him. All three real nice boys. Like I said earlier in this video, I don't think you could go wrong with a single pup off of this litter. All three of these boys will be available, so for anyone that's interested, again, give me a call at 217-280 0151 and you can reserve the puppy all the puppies you've seen in this video are all available right now the only pup that we're keeping is the black tri female but the rest of these pups are all for sale today i just want to make that very clear for everybody all these pups will be coming with abkc papers up to date on shots wormed ears clipped the whole nine yards 
like I was saying earlier in this video, we are very pleased with this litter. These puppies came out exactly the way we thought they would. We ended up with some real nice, extreme show quality American bullies. You know, I haven't talked too much about the puppies in this video, but like I said, they're all put together really good, man. Turned out exactly the way we wanted. Real nice bone, head, chest, color. Covered all aspects of the American Bully. For anybody that's interested in any of these pups, these dogs are not exotic bullies. They don't have a drop of exotic bully in them. These are all true American Bully blood. And you know, for anybody that picks up a pup off of this litter and decides they want to breed it, we highly recommend you search for another real true American Bully to breed them to. You know, we actually really, really prefer that and we care about that. You know, a lot of these guys out here are sneaking in exotic bullies to their American bullies and all they're doing is messing up the breed. And, you know, us over here at Killer Night Kennels, we're going to do our best to try to preserve that. And that isn't a knock to the exotic breeders. We're not one of those kennels that just hate the exotic dogs. You know, we don't breed them and we don't do nothing with them. But, you know, now that they're separated from the American Bully and they're their own breed, you know, we don't have no problems with the exotics at all. So, you know, big shout out to the exotic breeders that do keep it real, breed their exotics to exotics, and let people know when they sell them a dog that they're selling them exotic. You know, a lot of these other kennels, like I said, they're sneaking in exotics to their American bullies, and they're selling you a dog, calling it a bully, or calling it American bully. But that's not the case. Like I said, I'm not just one of these people that are hating on these things. When you start putting the exotic bully in with the American bully, all you're going to do is make this breed even more inconsistent than it is. The puppies ain't going to come out real nice. I promise you that. I've seen it a million times. And, you know, the American Bully and Exotic Bully Standard are two completely different dogs. They look different and they move very different. And whenever you start sneaking that exotic blood into your American Bullies, you can see it like crazy. I don't even have to check the pedigree. I know it's in there when I see a dog like that. I'm not saying that them guys ain't producing some nice dogs when they do those things. You know, you might get one, maybe two nice dogs off of those litters, but the rest of them are going to be very, very inconsistent, and you're not going to be able to tell what type of dog that is. Half of them are going to look like American bullies, half of them are going to look like exotics, and most of them are just going to look like poorly bred dogs that you're not going to be able to tell what breed it is. Trust me, I've seen it a million times. I've seen them out here in the show rings, all that. There's a lot of people out here in this bully world that don't even know what kind of dog they have. You know what I mean? They go say they want American Bully. They go buy a dog that's 75% exotic. And then they got it at the show ring putting it in American Bully class. And then me as a judge has to move them to the exotic class. So... You know, this isn't no hate on the exotics. This isn't no hate on anything. Just, you know, we're firm believers. If you're gonna breed your dogs, if you have real true American bullies, breed them to real true American bullies. In the same way the exotics. If you have a real nice exotic, go out and find you another dog that's a real nice exotic and breed them two together. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's just the way we look at things. You know, we know people are going to do what they want to do, but, you know, us at Killinois Kennels, we really care about the American Bully breed, and, you know, we don't want to see it go to crap. Here soon, you're not going to be able to even find a dog that is a real, true American Bully without just a little bit of exotic blood here and there, you know, and we're kind of scared of that, you know what I mean, because we don't always just stay in our yard we do go use other people's studs and things like that and we don't want to be accidentally throwing this blood into our dogs there's enough blood with the american bully and the exotic bully to where you don't have to go out and start throwing different breeds into your dogs look at some of our dogs even if you like the look of the uh, exotic bully you can get that look with american bullies if you know what you're doing Take a look at dogs like our boy Napoleon. Look at Prada. Wait till you see our girl Problem Child. Take a look at Mike's boy Gambit out there in Florida. 
them dogs have exotic looks in their face and we haven't added anything special in there. We'll touch more on this topic soon, but that's it for the footage of the white folks and Layla Puffs at nine weeks old. Again, we hope you guys love them. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys go check out the customer update video we did on this boy pork chop right here. We got a really good response on that. This boy is a monster, man, and I can't wait to see him grow. He's only 11 months old in this footage, and just wait till you see this guy at about two to three years old, man. He's gonna be a really nice, extreme show quality American bully, like I always say, and I can't wait to see what John does with this boy. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna be showing you guys some never seen before dogs drop us some important information and don't forget to let us know which puppy was your favorite puppy in this video and if you haven't already make sure you guys go check out the video of our boy here Killinois Kennels Ace of Spades we dropped that on the channel not too long ago he's a real nice boy and we've been getting a lot of love on him so if you haven't seen that make sure you guys go check that out this right here is our boy, Killinoy Kennels Tasmanian Panda, owned by our partner Mike out there in Miami. We wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of this boy. This boy's only 11 months old as well, and just like Porkchop, is turning into an amazing show quality American bully. Make sure you guys stay tuned for some updates on this guy. Here's another one of our upcoming studs. Can you guys remember who this boy is? If you think you know who this is, leave it in the comment section. This boy's only 11 months old as well, and this is another gem that we sent out there to our partner, Mike. I can't wait to show you guys some more updates on this boy. He's maturing into an amazing American bully as well. And again, this is another one of our upcoming studs over here at the Killinois camp. Here's another sneak peek of one of our productions. This is the Champagne female out of the Stacks and Prada litter. Real, real nice female. Here she is watching Killinois Kennels checking back on her roots. She's located out there in Buffalo, New York, owned by Robert and his family out there. They've been doing a really good job with this girl and I can't wait to see the next customer update. Again, I want to send a huge shout out to everybody that picked up a pup out of the Premier and Fendi litter. We really appreciate your guys' business. This litter we sold on a Monday night at 8 o'clock and had the puppy shipped out at 2 o'clock the very next day. Again, I want to send a big shout out to everybody that picked up a pup off of this litter and we can't wait to see some updates on these guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll be dropping all the information on the dark, low, and precious breeding and the Napoleon and Stella breeding as well. Like I've been telling you guys, man, we've been hard at it. We got the Killinois clothing on the way, man. It's all in the works. This ain't just a bunch of talk. It's all in the works. We got several logos coming. This is gonna be one of them right here. It's got this shirt kind of looking pink, but it's, it's super red. Got this little logo on the side right here. Then we got this bad boy sitting right here too. Check out that one. It's all in the works, y'all. Like I said, man, not setting up no dreams or nothing like that, man. It just takes a little bit of time getting everything right. We got hats coming, all types of stuff coming, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Very next weekend, September 19th in Tallahassee, Florida at the North Florida Fair. We got three BRC Global shows and a fun show. It's gonna be a real good time out there. We'll be bringing you more information on this event as it comes, but if anybody needs any help getting there, you can give me a call at 217-280-0151 and we'll give you all the information you need to get to this show. I just wanna give everybody a heads up, October 10th, we're having the BRC Global 2020 Nationals at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. It's going to be the biggest event of the year, and this is going to be an event you guys don't want to miss. I'm trying to give you guys plenty of time so you guys can you know, plan your trip and try to make it happen. People will be coming from all over the world to this event, so if you have the chance, make sure you guys come out and join the fun.
we'll be doing a Killinoy Kennel show vlog in this event. So if you guys want to come out and get on the vlog, you can do so. And don't worry, we'll be putting up plenty of promotional videos reminding you guys about this event. If you haven't already, make sure you guys get over there to Instagram, follow us at Killinoy underscore kennels, and also follow OG Bully Block Radio. Every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time, we go live from that OG Bully Block Radio page. We do a live broadcast with my partner Kev Green from the BRC Global. They make out for some real good lives. We haven't been on there a lot here lately. Right now, we're working on some things that are going to make the lives a lot better. We're going to be able to bring on guests. It's going to be an all-around better experience, and we're going to be able to broadcast it across all social media. So we're working on some big things. We will be back. Make sure you guys get over there and follow those pages. I want to send a huge shout out to everybody that shows love on our channel, hits the like button, comments, shares our videos, tells their friends about our channel. We just blew past 35,000 subscribers, and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. So again, big shout out to all you guys that show love on the channel. If you watch this video all the way through, leave the words Killinoy Kennels in the comment section, and make sure you guys stay tuned, man. We got tons of good stuff coming up. We got merch, new breedings, new customer updates, new show vlogs, the whole nine yards. So thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.